then, right? And so that, that moves thinking about AI from a cost um, containment or a cost reduction to um, thinking about it creatively, like an opportunity creation sort of. And I think that's where we're going over the next 12, 24 months. This is something, again, that may be oversimplified for the really smart people in this room, but maybe it'll help you share with your teams. We have found that this structure has helped, has, has helped people understand all the technology that we're managing and really kind of relate it back to what they know about the human brain. So I'm not gonna go deep here, but I'll start on the lower left. And here we have the idea of capabilities, and this is just how we enable AI to do a thing. So it's integrations, APIs, things like that. And then cognition is what people think of as AI. So that's where the LLMs live and the specific training. And again, the cognitive, the things that mirror the way, uh, the way we process our own cognitive uh, items. And then behavior is how we control the capability and the cognition. And then finally, knowledge for us, knowledge, uh, since, we do, since we work with businesses, knowledge is about how do we take these things and make them very specific for our client's business. But that's really not the big trick. The big trick is understanding the thing that pulls these together conceptually is thinking about the human experience. And so when we design AI, when we design these interactions, we need to be asking these very simple questions. Again, who is this for? What problems do we have? And, and how can we help them solve it? So it's designing around context and experience. A recent survey from Microsoft, again, last quarter, uh, they interviewed 31,000 workers around the world and they put them in buckets based on how advanced their companies were. And the, the most advanced bucket was what they called frontier firms. And the short version of a frontier firm is one that has humans managing a couple of different AI agents. And it's super interesting, the difference between the frontier firms and the rest. So employees are more likely to say their company was thriving, that they could take on more work, their work was meaningful, and they were less worried that AI would take their job. So this idea of building AI around humans has has measurable rewards. So that's kind of a theoretical piece, uh, but what does it actually look like if we move from theory and kind of big ideas to like stuff that you actually need to do to move the needle? 